So you're going to locate the ABS sensor connector here in the driver side fender well. It's mounted on this body and there's a red tab right there. We're going to back that safety lock off. I'm going to disconnect it from the fender well from the clamp. Maybe we can get a better angle. There we go. A lot of sand in there. Now you can push down on the black tab right there and pull. Follow it right through the fender well. You'll see that little flat cap. That's where it's going to come out. Remove the tire, 19 millimeter socket. So now through the driver's side fender well, you can see the ABS line that we just connected from the top. Just pull on it. Get a body tool and you can disconnect these clips. Then you have your first bracket, 13 millimeter socket. Remove the bolt. Second bolt is attached to the strut tower, 13 millimeter socket. This connector is broken, but it goes right in there. We're just going to bring the harness right around. And then we're going to dismount the mounting bolt, 10 millimeter socket. This is where I like to use my body tool so I don't damage it or it doesn't snap off. See if we can, you might have to get a pair of pliers to grab it and spin it back and forth. So keep flipping it back and forth and I got it with a little bit of perseverance. Just pull at the same time. I'm just taking a wire brush and I'm gonna clean the surface because I don't want it to be uneven on the seating, so I don't want water to get down there and really swell that plastic or crack it. I'm try to make it the best seal as possible. So now I'm going to take the new sensor and line it up, push it down flat, get that mounting bolt, start it by hand. So the torque specs for this ABS sensor is 106 inch pounds. Secure this properly. Bring this around. So you're going to want to feed it down through the flex hose and under that strut mount. This is meaning that bracket so that you can line this up properly. You've got a notch here. You can put it right in there. Get your mounting bolt. Start it by hand. I'm going to follow this up. behind the strut, and then we have our last mounting bolt right there. Put that bolt in. Bring it over, put it in this clip to the body. And I'm gonna just push that right through. And you'll see these two tabs. You're gonna push them so they, they seat and click. Now we can tighten up the mounting bolts, 13 millimeter socket, and just bottom them out. Make sure that this bracket's held straight. Now we're going to install our tire. Quick secret if you didn't know about some hubcaps. So you've got the valve stem where it lines up, but Chrysler has these big two holes. So if I line that up like that, I know that this one and this one, I can put the lug nuts on before I put that hubcap on. So right there, 
right there. So now I can mount this tire without worrying about holding on to that hubcap 19 millimeter. And I'm just gonna bottom it out. Now I can take the hubcap, line it up, and it will click right on. Now I can take my other three lug nuts and put them on. I'm gonna leave that there because we're gonna to torque it when we lower it. So now we have the new end of the connector and there's the old one. I'm gonna line it up. Squeeze the two together. Use that line for a little leverage. There we go. Now push that red clip in and you can reattach it down to the bottom. So you're just gonna slide that clip right on there. Once you get it all the way down, you bring it down and line it up with those two holes. And just push it down. Wheel torque is 100 foot pounds. Start at the bottom. Go on a crisscross pattern or star. And then always double check. 